We've had the first real frost last night. It looks like fall weather is finally upon us. Chicken water is just barely frozen over. I need to clean that thing out anyways. Goat's water is also just barely frozen over. Animals are doing just fine in colder weather. Here in Missouri, ticks and chiggers have been hard to get used to. They had been particularly bad in tall grass and in the forest. The colder weather really reduces that bug population and it makes working in those areas enjoyable again. I'm in the woods on the north side of our property because I want to harvest some cedar for fence posts. I'm getting ready to do fencing for our does enclosure and we wanted to use some of the material that was growing here on our property. It can be tricky to find just the right tree to use. What I'm looking for is cedar and cedar that has been dead for a while so as it continues to dry it doesn't warp and crack quite as much as it would otherwise. Also. The tree needs to be relatively straight and long and, you know, about fence post diameter. So there's a lot of criteria to look for. Right behind me is a very good candidate.
One thing I liked about this tree was the branches had kind of propped it up off the ground. So, probably less rot that way. Okay, chickens. Look out. Gotta clean your water. All the chickens have to be in the way. Here's the post that we have to work with so far. They're not all cedar, but they look pretty good to me. I've been searching particularly for some long ones so we can span the distance from the shelter all the way out here so we can have our gate out here. And I've got these two in mind. I think I like this longer one better. The other one I can probably get two more posts out of it. I'm back up here behind our goat enclosure for the bucks. This is where I want to use that half of the cattle panel. Right here along the fence is a really wide opening. I want to block it so our goats aren't tempted by curiosity to just wander off over onto the neighbor's property. But because it's such a natural opening to get goats through, if we ever do have goats over there, it'd be nice to use this spot to entice them back over onto our side. I'm gonna use that cattle panel to cover this, but I'm just gonna clip it on with spring clips so they can easily be removed and uh, the cattle panel can be moved out of the way and then put right back.
This just helps plug the gap below the lowest barbed wire. Again, so our goats, our little goats, aren't tempted to crawl underneath. When I build the fencing for our new doe enclosure, I'm intending to use some of our living trees as fence posts. It's a pretty common thing to do. You can see how barbed wire had been wrapped around these trees quite a while ago, and now the trees have grown and expanded right around the barbed wire. I've got a technique to avoid that because it's it's kind of damaging for the trees and uh, hard to hard to remove later if you want to but I'll show that later in a future video here's what those spring clips look like thanks for watching Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.